Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be going over the Mythic Market and Bit Shop resets. This is going to be happening on Saturday in the afternoon for some people, really late at night for me, myself included, like a midnight for UK peeps, past midnight for anyone in Europe and beyond. So we're going to just go over the information, what characters are going to be added, any changes that are going to be coming in. Let's get into the info. And we'll have a quick read through the overview. It says BitShop slash Mythic Market Refresh. This Saturday, the BitShop and the Mythic Market will reset and we're excited to share the plans for what players can look forward to with the refresh happening before a Gold Rush event next week. So there is actually confirmed Gold Rush going to be happening directly after the reset as well. So if you have got those tokens, you should be good. It goes on to say, Mythic Market, we are excited to announce Gold Mythic Wang Fa will be joining the Mythic Market at a price of 20,000 TWD Gold Medals. We will be introducing new Gold Mythic Fighters to the Mythic Market over time in the future. Mythic Market exclusive fighters such as Wang Fa will not be added to the Gold Mythic Recruits will and can only be found in the Mythic Market. In addition to Wang Fa, we will also be refreshing the 12 Gold Mythic Fighters previously available in the Mythic Market listed below. Now, this is actually pretty cool that they're actually putting an exclusive character in the Mythic Market. It does make out that it's maybe not going to happen every season, but we potentially could have Wang Fa return in future seasons. And he's also not going to be taking up one of the 12 slots that are already there. The four that were assigned to the 10% characters in the Gold Mythic Wheel, i.e. the Premier characters, and the eight that were assigned to the 90% characters, they're still going to remain. This is going to be effectively like a new addition to the Mythic Market in this reset and going forward. Now, I have done a preview of Wangfire. If you want to check it out, you can see a, a little link in the top right-hand corner. And because he's in the Mythic Market, you can see him as a free-to-play character, but he isn't going to be like super quick to get if you have been spending those gold medals. You will have to use Guild Bits to get gold medals, which you can only get 100,000 a season. We'll see if that changes, though. We're going to go through the information on what characters are available this season around otherwise, though. And as we read through it, we have got that gold Mythic Wang Fa. He is in for 20,000. So while he isn't a premier character or taking up the slot of a premier character, he's seen as a premier character in this store. And he's going to be one of the more expensive characters, which I can understand. I don't mind that too much. If he does come back around next time, he could potentially be reduced to 15 or 10. We don't know. We don't know the situation there. We're going to have to see what happens when it resets in the future the four characters that are premier characters this time around are going to be pamela milton which is awesome because she is a very nice leader for defense and attack teams certain attack teams that is gold mythic ezekiel so another defense leader in here gold mythic negan 2000 and gold mythic connor the only downside i see with this is that it's four defense team characters primarily connor has some usage in some other get parts of the game for instance challenge run but generally speaking these are defense team characters or primarily defense team characters uh, pamela has some usage on attack connor has some uses on attack and it's also worth noting it's two more fast characters of which we already had two of on the refresh this is just a little downside we don't get too many tough characters in here but i have looked through the list there aren't that many tough characters that they could have potentially put in here cliff uncle sam there aren't that many uh characters more recent yeah, unless they go to something like Davy or Vance. And I think those characters are maybe a bit too much. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing, you know, a, a little batch of tough premieres come around. Because it seems like we haven't had any good ones in, like, recent times. Other than support characters. Now, the eight 90% characters that are 10,000 gold medals each are going to be Gold Mythic Eva, Gold Mythic Mike. Gold Mythic Lydia, Gold Mythic Andrea 2000, Gold Mythic Gabriel, Gold Mythic Princess, Gold Mythic Wayland, and Gold Mythic Shiva. I think this is a pretty decent selection of characters. And adversely, while the premieres are more defensive, all of the 90% characters primarily are attack team characters. You maybe could see Gabriel as a defense team character, but you wouldn't really use Gabriel. Gabriel's more there because he's part of a collection, which is kind of cool if you do need survivors for Morgan. And Mike can be used on both teams. Pretty much everyone else here is part of attack teams. And there is a very vital character that I see here at least. Lydia is without a doubt the best character from this list. If you do not have her to limit break three, I would 100% recommend you prioritize 
Lydia in here over even pulling on the gold mythic wheel because especially if you're a new player if you're trying to work out the best thing to do get Lydia as high as possible she's great she's going to be awesome in pretty much every game mode she's a lot of fun to you she's an attack team character you're going to enjoy your gameplay with her so definitely get your hands on her and her base weapon is actually pretty good from the start so you don't have to work too hard on it so all round quite a nice character now, if you want to see how I've built my Lydia, there is a little link to a guide in the top right-hand corner. I have had questions, how does my Lydia hit so hard off of turn one signature move? It's, it's, it's about the weapon, it's about everything like that, and you can hit really hard. You can hit really hard, like 60k isn't like a surprise really on that first turn signature move. But I'm really happy, honestly, with these characters. I think there's a nice mix, you know, Mythic Trial selection characters, two of them, Andrea 2000 and Negan 2000, Damage Dealers, Eva, Lydia... Um, and Princess, so you've got you've got your choice. I would say still Lydia is the best. And you've got Mike, who probably is one of the best all-round characters in the game, especially in the 90% in terms of just being able to be used in pretty much every part of the game. You can have him a support character on every part of the game, and he's going to do his job. So this is a much better reset than the previous one, for sure. And I look forward to seeing what's going to happen on future resets and potentially future exclusive characters. Now there is some information with regards to the bit shop and it says we are also announcing we will be adding more gold mythic token redemptions to the bit shop. Players can find their TWD gold medal redemption refreshed in addition to these gold mythic token redemptions when the bit shop resets. And it's just basically adding like basically follow up tiers to the main tier. So the main tier is going to remain the same, which is 5,000 gold mythic tokens with 200 claims for one gilded bit. This is how it's always been. And then you have your 2,500 gold mythic tokens, 300 claims for one gilded bit. Obviously, massive reduction in value. But if you're someone who's got like 600 um, guild bits right now, you, it will take you ages. It will take you like multiple resets to be able to use those. So at least you can actually get something out of it. You're going to get diminished returns but that's the way it goes that's the way it goes and then the last one would be a thousand gold mythic tokens per gilded bit with 500 claims so a grand total of a thousand claims a season if you were just wanting to constantly just push that gold mythic token wheel and just see what you can get out of it you can constantly uh, claim back obviously you're going to get less and less each time but at least you can actually do something with your gilded bits now, just to confirm, it does say that the TWD gold medals are going to remain. I did see some comments saying they're being removed. It actually just it says it in the post. Players can find their TWD gold medal redemptions refreshed. It is probably going to still be limited to 20, though. And that is enough to get 100,000 TWD gold medals. Funny enough, this reset, that actually could be worth claiming. There are some nice characters in there. Um, myself, I could probably claim that over going for some... Um, gold token pools you know I, I i think the the selection of characters is quite nice especially in premiere where it gets very expensive i do want to pick up the wang Fa and pamela so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably have to claim those medals this time around so that's it for the bit shop and mythic market refresh information now there is not going to be any information with regards to how long this is going to last but with no information it probably means it's going to be exactly the same amount of time which is a shame because i saw that as being pretty much the main complaint within the community that was a three month cooldown if that is the case i think we need an exclusive character every reset otherwise we're looking at like a six month gap between characters that are exclusive to these stores and that's rough that is rough um will these characters right now be useful in three months or in two months who knows some of these characters have stopped being used apparently and they're no longer meta but I do see Ezekiel leads all the time. I still see Pamela leads all the time. So there are some people still using these characters. There are some people who will definitely want to limit break these characters. Um, and so I don't think too many people are going to be upset with this refresh. It's never going to have like the latest and greatest. It's just not the way it's going to be. But I think the fact that an exclusive character has been added is awesome. I think that's a really nice addition and, and kind of makes the reset kind of exciting regardless of what tier you're at if you're like a, a heavy spender you're going to be interested what's that new exclusive character going to be in the reset so hopefully that's going to be something they continue because so far i haven't seen anything but good feedback on that particular part of the the um, update here but do give me your thoughts what do you think about the reset which characters have you got your eyes on do you like the fact that there's going to be exclusive characters in here do you still think there should be any changes other than the fact that 
You know, I know a lot of people just, they should just reset every week, reset every month. But any other changes, guys, please leave them in the comments down below. That is the end of my video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.